today, all over the world, we are gathering in large groups and small, in different places and different languages, in buildings and schools, empty spaces and open fields, in our homes and on our phones. Some come together in freedom while others have to meet in secret. Some will sing the old hymns, while others are singing something new. We'll all learn different things from the same Bible and worship the same God in different ways. We are the church, the body of Christ, different pieces molded together by the hand of God. Today, all over the world, we are gathering as one. Good morning, church. We are the church. Hallelujah. We've gathered here at Eastway Drive. Amen. Anybody glad to be in the place this morning? If you're glad, stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, say, I'm glad to be here. Hallelujah. There will be no other God before 
says, but we decide we're going to go with what we feel like we want to do instead, or we go with what our family wants us to do as opposed to what the Word of God says. Amen? Amen. Amen. It can be really easy to sing this song, but can we live it? Amen. There will be no other God before you and sometimes we don't realize that TV can be the other God that our children can be the other God that our spouses can be the other God amen that the culture can be the other God we have to remind ourselves that it's not just by word but also by deed that we put him first, amen? amen? Amen, we have to remind ourselves and each other. Glory to God, amen, amen, amen. All right, Sister Iris. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Because it could be something else. It could be otherwise. But he chose in his wisdom and his grace and his mercy to allow each and every one of us to be here this morning. And it's a blessing. So I say we say thank you, Jesus. I say we say hallelujah. Because he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Do we have any first time guests here today? Any first time attenders? All right. We have two up front here. We'd just like to welcome you two young ladies and we are so happy to see you this morning. And come on back. Don't let this be your first and your last. Come on back. Our responsive reading this morning is from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we do not lose heart. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. For what we preach is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Mm -hmm. 
persecuted but not abandoned struck down but not destroyed before we go on I want to read 8 and 9 again we are hard pressed on every side but not crushed perplexed but not in despair persecuted but not abandoned struck down but not destroyed there are many things that happen in our lives where we might see that we are being squeezed like we are being crushed like our backs up are against the wall and we feel like we just can't take anymore but I thank God for Jesus who is our advocate who sits at the right hand of the father as our intercessor so we although we may feel those things because we are in this fleshly body but we need to take heart and know that we can take it and we will make it and why because we have the greatest intercessor and the greatest advocate ever who is interceding on our behalf even now as we are standing here this morning so I want to encourage someone this morning to take heart guess what if he brought you to it he's going to bring you through it it may look hard right now but praise him in advance for what he is going to do we always carry around in our body oh that's y'all I'm sorry I'm sorry y'all I done got just caught up I got caught up because I don't know about you but these past couple of weeks I've been feeling like I've just been squeezed I've been feeling like I'm a lemon and the devil's just been throwing a whole lot of things my way but I said God I trust you no matter what it looks like, God, I trust you. You have proven yourself to be faithful. You have proven yourself to be constant. So although this thing is before me, I am choosing to stand on your word. I'm making it an intentional decision to stand on your word, God. For I know it is true. And I know you are faithful. And I know you're going to bring me through. But while I'm going through, give me the grace I need. Give me the grace I need. And that is my prayer for you, that God will give you the grace that you need to keep on going on. Okay, y'all now. Y'all can go ahead and do your, do your scripture. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may also be revealed in our mortal body. It is written, I believe, therefore, I have spoken. Since we have that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak. All this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since that what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. And with that, I encourage you this morning. Fix your eyes on what is eternal. This thing here that we're in, this life here, that this is going to be over. And I don't know about you, but I know it's going to be over soon. But fix your eyes on Jesus who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Let's go to God in prayer. Most Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus. And, oh God, we just thank you. We praise your name, oh God, because of who you are. Not only because of what you've done, God, because if you don't do anything else, you've already done so much for us, oh God. But we praise your name, God, for what you have done. And we praise your name, God, for what you're going to do. Father, we thank you and we love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you, Lord God. We love you, Lord God. And there is no one above you. There is no one beside you. God, you have no equal and you have no rival. 
No matter what it looks like, God, you are in control and we thank you and we trust you. Father, we ask this morning, oh God, that you bless our pastor as he brings your word. Give him the strength, oh God. Continue to anoint him with even more of an anointing, oh God. That anointing that breaks your break chains and sets captives free. May someone be healed. May someone be saved. May someone be delivered. May someone be brought back out of a backslidden state, oh God, unto you. And Father, we will not forget to give your name all the honor, praise, and glory. Because only you are worthy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. Thank you, Sister Harris, for that. Truly is an honor to do this part of the service this morning. Sister Harris, she really preached a message, didn't she, Pastor? <laughs> but she's telling the truth. We know that God is a giving God. We know that it doesn't matter what come against us. We are not to worry. We are not to be fearful or scared. Because we serve a mighty God. We serve the only God that there is that can do anything that he chooses to do. Amen. Amen. There is not one thing that he cannot do. It doesn't matter what you are going through. Sister Iris said. You know what I love this morning. What she said. She said. Those things are in front of her. But they doesn't move her. Why is it? Because she's standing on the solid rock of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The one that God sent into this world. To lay down his life upon the cross of Calvary. For the sins of the whole world. Not just yours, not just mine. But for the sins of the whole world. But we understand one thing that the whole world is not going to accept him. But those of us who accept him and believe all things are possible to us. The Bible says, ask and he shall receive. Say, seek and he shall find. Knock and the door will be open. Are you asking? Are you seeking? Are you knocking on that door? I do hope and pray that you are. Because the God that I serve, I hope that is the same God that you serve. Because the Bible says he cannot fail. He cannot lie. He's not a God that he can lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. That's what the scripture says. God gave his only begotten son for us. And as we come to the part of the service to give, let us prepare our hearts to give cheerfully. Cheerfully. If you are going to give and you're going to give grudgingly, I would warn you, please, keep your money in your pocket. Keep it in your pocketbook. Because we're talking about a mighty God, the only God that there is. The one that creates the heavens and the earth, sun, the star, the moon, and set them in their orbits that they shall not be moved. The one that holds the wind in his fist. He is mighty. He is powerful. Let's just praise his name. He is worthy. Now, as we prepare our hearts to give, we can give four ways. I know you see three on the screen in person as the hushers come around and pass the plate. You can give that way. You can also text the word give to 844-626-1671. Or you can go give online eastwaychurchofgod.org. And... As my favorite brother always says, <laughs> Brother Diaz, you can give the old-fashioned way. Mail it in. Post office is still in business, y'all. Mail it in. <laughs> if you choose to do so. Amen? Ushers, will you come forward, please? Heavenly Father, 
We thank you for this time that we come to give a portion of that which you have given to us, Father. Father, we bless the giver this morning. We bless those who have to give and those who have not to give, Father God. Lord, we ask that you take this that we give unto you, Father God, the little portion that you requested, 10%. And Lord, we ask that you multiply it and use it for the furtherance and the advancement of your kingdom, Father God. Lord, as we give to this local body, we understand that we are not just giving to this church, but we are giving to missions to many around the world. Lord, we ask your blessings to be upon this offering today, Father God, and the tithes that we give. We ask that you bless those who have to give and those who have not to give. We ask that you be with us and bless us and bless the rest of this service, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
stood in awe for the souls of all who come to the Father are restored. And the church of Christ was born. Then the Spirit led the flame. Now this gospel truth of all shall not kneel, shall not fade. By his blood and in his name, in his freedom I am free. For the love of Jesus Christ, who has resurrected me. us to be here together in your presence another Sunday Lord thank you for those who have come out regardless of what the weather looks like outside Lord we're here in your presence thank you for those who are joining us by means of live stream I pray somehow, some way, God, that you would just permeate, as it were, through the screen. That your presence that's filling this place will also fill homes, 
oil-filled cars, wherever folks are viewing or listening, that they'll sense your nearness because truly your presence is here. And we thank you, praise you, God. Lord, thank you for the word that's already been shared. Lord, I counted three sermons, three messages that have already been preached today. Kim reminded us of the importance of not just saying it, but living it. That there's none before you, Lord. Sister Iris reminded us that if you bring us to it, you're going to see us through it. Because you're right there with us in the midst of it all. And then Brother Richard just encouraged us to realize how worthy you truly are and what a great gift you've given us, God, in Jesus. And yes, we worship you in spirit and in truth today. And we give you all the glory. Bless us, Father, for your word. And bless all of our activities today. Lord, the beauty of being in your presence, but also the beauty of being in one another's presence and realizing that we are family, the family of God. Lord, touch us, I pray, in the matchless name of Jesus. And all God's people say amen. Amen. Listen, before we approach the word this morning, I want us to take another moment to pray for someone who is here with us this morning who really, I, I, I can't imagine being in his shoes. I don't know that I would be able to be in service today had this been uh, what had happened within my family. But Brother Rob Bowser, who is our keyboardist, this past Wednesday, his mother Mary unexpectedly passed away and received her promotion to go home to be with the Lord. And Brother Rob, our hearts are with you, sir. I have, I have wept as I prayed for you. And uh, God bless you is all I can say for being here today. Would you stretch your hands toward Brother Rob? Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, I don't know that any of us can truly feel in this moment what Rob is feeling. Along with his his brothers and his sister, they are facing great loss. But yet as your servant and faithful to his post, he is here this morning. And there's got to be a blessing of comfort right here in this moment for Not only him, but his entire family for his dad. Lord, in the name of Jesus, would you allow the ministry of the Holy Spirit in this moment to bring not just peace, but peace and comfort. As it were, wrap your arms around Rob and may he feel your embrace in this moment. Pull him in near. And may he, as it were, rest there on your chest to hear your heartbeat of love for him and for his family. God, I thank you. And I praise you for a touch this morning for our brother. In the name of Jesus. And everybody say amen. 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 Look at your neighbor next to you. Smile at them real big and tell them it is a beautiful season that we're in, and it's good to see you in God's house today. Smile at them real big when you say that. It is so good to see each and every one of you here this morning. Uh, Let me just give a quick announcement concerning next Sunday. Next Sunday will be our children's program along with our praise choir uh, presentation. Uh, The entire service is going to be given over to, to celebrating Jesus, the birth of Jesus, Uh, in drama, in dance, in music. So please invite your neighbors, your friends, your family to come and be a part of of this service. It's always a highlight of our 
our year. Uh, when our kids are on platform, it seems that everybody shows up because we love and support our children, don't we? And so they've been practicing hard, so please keep that in mind. Also, remember that next Sunday morning, is uh, we, we made the announcement that we are having a, a seed offering that we are sowing together on, on uh, the 17th. And so that's next Sunday morning. Prepare, prayerfully prepare whatever the Lord leads you to give above and beyond your regular stewardship. This is actually a seed that we're sowing for 2024 with expectation of God's blessing. Amen, somebody? Amen. Also, we'll have a video update from my niece, Josie, who is one of our missionaries that we are supporting. She wanted to be here with us in person, but uh, she only has limited time before she's going back over to England. But just please keep her in prayer. But she'll have a video update for us next Sunday. A lot of things happening next week. You will not want to miss that Sunday if the Lord tarries. Amen. Amen. How many puzzlers do we have in the house? In other words, you put puzzles together. Have you ever put a, a puzzle? To, if you put a puzzle together, raise your hand. All right. I come from a puzzling family, and uh, my mom got it from her mom. Now, my grandmother, Ina, she would put together, uh, Brother Wawa, she would put together the 5,000-piece puzzles. I remember as a young man going to visit my grandparents and she would have that puzzle table there with all of these small itty bitty pieces of puzzle that intricately put, that she would put together to, to uh, display a masterpiece after she was finished. Well, my mother got, got it from her mom. My mom would put the thousand piece puzzles together. Well, I got it from my mom, and y'all, I'm down to 300, I'll be honest with you. 